Hey YouTube, it's your girl Sharonda Patrice and I am back with another video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. On this channel, we talk about all things crafting, all things Jesus, and a little bit more. So, today's video, I am going to supply you guys with six tips on how to stay focused in church. Like, people talk about their being, they're bored in church, they can't stay awake, uh, they're distracted. So, um, this is just six tips on how to stay focused in church. Okay, so, first I would say um, to eat before you go. That's number one. Eat before you go to church because y'all know if you don't eat before you go to church, you're distracted. Your stomach's growling. You're trying to figure out why you didn't eat before you went. Why? What you gonna eat after you get out, get out of church? Uh, uh, if somebody got a little peppermint, you bothering them? You fo you taking them off uh, focus off the church, uh, off the sermon, and yeah. So I was that would be my first thing. Now I know some people do fast before um they go to church which is totally fine but if you fast you know god will give you the the willpower to make it do but for those who don't i suggest that you eat before you go so you won't be worrying about why you didn't eat and when you're gonna eat after that for tip number two i would say um to pray okay so a lot of people don't know this about me but when i get to church i don't just get get to church and get out of the car and go straight to the church what I do is I, I pull in and I sit in the parking lot and I say a prayer before I go. Generally, it's something along the lines of, um, Lord, I just want to thank you for today. I just want to um, thank you for allowing me to be able to be in your presence one more time, God. I ask that you clear the clutter from my mind, God. Um, open my heart and my mind to receive. Um you know, sing your fresh anointing, da 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 da. Something general like that. Like I have to I have to pray before I go because if I don't pray before I go in, I am thinking about a million things. I'm thinking about what I need to do when I get out of there, um, who I need to meet, what food I'm gonna eat, what food I'm gonna cook, you know, it is a million things going through your mind and I just don't want that to distract me from the service. So what I try to do is I try to pray that God clears the clutter of my mind and open up my heart and my mind to receive what he has for church on Sunday. Also to pray for the pastor um, so that um, that he will, you know, deliver a word from the Lord. So um, that will be tip number two to um, pray before you go. Pray before you go. Um Tip number three will be evaluate where you sit in, okay? So, um, if you sit at the back of the church, you're probably, you're probably bored. You're probably seeing what everybody else is doing. So, I wouldn't say sit on the front row, but if that's what you need to do, then sit on the front row. I personally sit in the middle. I sit in the middle to the side. Um, I can, there's not many people that sit in front of me, so I'm not really distracted on what they're doing. A lot of people sit behind me. So um, that would be a good tip is to evaluate where you sit at. If you sit in the back and everybody in front of you is going to distract you, don't do it. So, um, yeah, that would be tip number three. Tip number four is take notes. Tip number four is take notes. Um, I was really good at taking notes when... Um, for a long time, not even just when I started going to the church, but for a long time, I was, I was taking notes. And since the pandemic, I hadn't really been taking any notes. And so it was a little bit harder for me to concentrate um, because I'm not taking notes. I'm taking notes. I'm listening to every word. I'm trying to grab every word he's saying. I'm trying to write it down real quick before I lose it. Like taking notes for me keeps me engaged in the service. Um... And tip number five, I thought I had six, but y'all, if y'all hear that, it's thunder and lightning out here. Y'all know, those of you who know me know I don't play about this thunder and lightning. So I'm trying to get to this video really quick. But tip number five, I thought I had six tips, but um, I don't, five. 
Um, tip number five would be reading throughout the week. So, um, reading your Bible throughout the week. So, what I've noticed for myself, now this is just for me, but what I've noticed for myself is that when I read my word throughout the week, when I'm constantly praying throughout the week, um, when I get to church, it's cohesive. It matches what I've been reading. Like it, the message matches what I've been reading. It matches what's been going on with me. It all kind of like just works together. So that would be my tip number five because you don't really have to have anything in particular um, that you're reading about. Just whatever, just, you know, whenever you go into your long time with the Lord, um, you know, just pray and ask him to guide you to whatever he wants you to read for today. Um, whatever he lays on your heart, use that, read it. I promise you, when you go to church and your pastor starts talking, you're going to be like, oh, I read that. I read that, um, Monday. I read that Wednesday. You know, I prayed about that, da, 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 da. So, I promise you guys, it will be cohesive. So, try to read the word throughout the week. Even if it's only for five or 10 minutes, just try to find something to meditate on a scripture or something like that throughout the week. Um, and just just watch, I promise you. So that's it. I thought I had six, you guys, but it's five tips on um, how to stay focused in church so that church will not seem boring to you. So that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.